Today is Cannabis Culture's unofficial holiday, 420, and for the first year, recreational marijuana use is legal in Minnesota for it. Hemp and edible businesses all over the metro have been hosting events. We find our Renee Cooper live at the Capitol tonight, where the process to make weed legal is to sell is moving slowly, Renee. Yeah, Callan, recreational cannabis use is legal, but the process to sell it in stores is still being worked out here by state officials. Today, I talked to a newer Minneapolis business about some hope for speeding that process up for next year. Minneapolis-based Bud Seed and Supply opened on Lake Street a few months ago, capitalizing on the cannabis lover's holiday on Saturday. We've had a ton of traffic here already today. They sell drinks, edibles, seeds, and growing equipment. And one day, they hope to sell cannabis flour too. But eight months after legalization, getting a business license feels far off. It is really tough, um, especially with like trying to plan the future of the business. The bill is passed as amended. On Thursday, the Minnesota House passed a bill in hopes of speeding things up by allowing pre-approved retail licenses as early as this summer so businesses can start prepping for opening day. The Bud's seed and supply owners say they're on board. It gives a lot of people that don't have that capital or those types of resources, you know, if they get pre-approved for a license, they're able to take those few months or those six months to really figure out how they're going to make the business work. Like the existing law, the bill prioritizes social equity applicants or people disproportionately harmed by past cannabis laws. If there are more applicants than available licenses, then it goes to a randomized lottery. And critics argued the lottery could allow large-scale out-of-state retailers to unfairly flood the application pool. Nobody knows how it's going to go. We passed a law that now we're just completely changing. It's no way to govern. It had been a hundred years uh, since we had ended the prohibition on alcohol and we were still making changes to our uh, liquor laws and in fact this body earlier this week uh, passed some changes to our state's uh, liquor laws and so it's not surprising that we would be back a year later. So you really have to you know just be able to switch and pivot really quickly and, and, uh, and yeah we'll just you know see what happens. Now, these pre-approved licenses would be temporary, and this all comes as the state's new Office of Cannabis Management admits they likely won't be ready to roll out full licenses ahead of a early next year launch of cannabis sales. That was their initial goal. As for Representative Stevenson's bill, that's now headed to the Senate. We'll see what happens there. Live at the Capitol tonight, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.